What's up YouTube? Welcome back to another daily upload. Well, today I want to talk a little bit about robots, but tie it into video. Well, have you ever looked at these kind of like close to life like robots when engineers try to make them look like humans? They always look really creepy, don't they? They just look off. It's, you can't really put exactly your finger on what it is that makes it look so weird and freaky, but there's something that just... It's too close to... You not recognise it as a as a human-like, but it's not good enough t to where the point where you're fooled. So it just freaks you out. Well, it's a little bit like that with video. You know, when you're just first starting out, or you're only just doing amateur movies and amateur camera stuff, you're not even trying to do anything professional, people judge you by a different standard. They're just, they're just like, oh, well, that's, that's an amateur movie. They're having fun, not, not really being serious. But as you start to try and make more professional content or start to upgrade and or as your skills get better and you get closer to being like professional level there's a bit of a weird in between spot where you're not it's not really amateurish but it's not yet pro and so it's just that's more jarring than anything um and it's a stage that everyone has to go through in order to get to a pro level. There's no escaping that. You either stay as trying to just do amateur stuff and not even try to improve. Or when you do take the journey of trying to improve, then you're going to get to a point where it just doesn't look, doesn't look right. But you're not, you, know, you know what I'm saying, I've already said it. So I'm gonna repeat myself, but just remember that. And I heard this analogy from another video, and I thought, well, that yeah, that that does make sense to me. That if do as as we get better, we're um, judged by different standards, and that's a good thing. I think um, you. You're then judged by it to a higher standard, to the, the top people. Um, and I know that could get quite expensive where you're trying to upgrade your, your gear and stuff. But just remember that the gear we're using now and the cameras and everything is way better than the camera equipment they had 10, 20 years. The, the very, very best camera you, you could buy. Uh, and... Today's camera just outstrip and look at all the great older movies done with that kind of gear and technology. So there's not really any technological limitations that are holding us back. But at, this, at the same time, because this is so widely available, there's so much content available and being put out every single day that it's very difficult to actually break through all that noise. And uh, I know these the advert that the cream rises to the top, but sometimes in social media it can be very difficult for that to happen without either collaborating with other people who've already got a big audience or paying for that attention with ads so it's getting promoted or promoted posts. Um, I sense there's quite a lot of people who are probably frustrated with that. Now, obviously, there's other ways and trying to just to get better at what you do. Um, but yeah, that's just some some of my thoughts. I know I probably went off on a bit of a tangent there at the end, but whatever. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe and throw a comment down below if if you agree or disagree or just want to say hi so that's it for now see you tomorrow